Are Democrats using the Sotomayor hearings to sneak through tax hikes? Democrats set to unveil their health care plan tomorrow. It could include a surtax on the rich. Congressman Charles Rangel, who's proposing it, meeting privately with the president today. Dan Mitchell is a senior fellow at the Cato Institute. You're not suggesting, Dan, are you, that they're trying to slip through a tax hike under cover of Sotomayor? Surely not. I'm not suggesting it. They would like that to happen. There's no question that public opinion polls have turned against the administration in terms of broad economic policy and especially on the more specific issue of fiscal policy. This has been a profligate tax and spend administration in just the first six months, and now they want the government to take over health care and make it like the Postal Service. Yeah, fair they point, Dad, but wait a second. They to put all this through without people watching. Taxing the rich is still a popular political mantra and this is the proposal with these surtaxes tax the rich now that remains popular doesn't it it's sometimes as popular as a soundbite on the campaign trail but a lot of the American people are very suspicious and rightfully so that when politicians are aiming at the rich it's the middle class that winds up getting hit in the crossfire. And we saw that during the Clinton years. We saw that with tax increases under the first President Bush. Every time the politicians want more money, the one thing that your viewers should understand, there aren't enough rich people to finance big government. So they yeah. use tax but the rich as the rhetoric, but they always go after the ordinary people to get more money to fund their big government schemes. But you know at the Cato Institute that we're past the tipping point. Only half the people who work in America pay any federal income tax at all. That leaves the other half who work, don't pay anything, and those who don't work, don't pay any federal income tax. You've passed the tipping point. Why should those who don't pay any tax worry about a tax increase for those who do, when they are in the majority? Well, you've identified something that does scare us to death here, which is what happens if we become like Western Europe with 60% of the population mooching off government and never having a reason to vote for more economic freedom and faster growth because they don't have a stake in the economy. But here's where I think that there's a problem with that approach by the left. If you're going to be a parasite, you need a healthy host, or at least you don't want to kill your host. And if you wind up killing the goose that lays the golden egg with taxes that are too high and wasteful government spending, there's nothing to redistribute. What okay. the left has to understand, you have to produce before you redistribute. Let, let's ask if it will work or not. Congressman Rangel says you impose these three surtax brackets and you will bring in a half trillion dollars in 10 years. Would it? That's utter, utter nonsense. We know from looking at the Reagan tax cuts, we know from looking at the Clinton tax increases, we know there are these things called Laffer curve effects. When you increase tax rates on the rich, two things are going to happen. Number one, they won't work, save, and invest as much, so their taxable income will shrink. And also, we know that they'll figure out ways, with all their lawyers and their lobbyists and their accountants, they'll figure out ways to use more shelters and loopholes and deductions and credits and preferences. And so that also will cause their taxable income to shrink. Shrink. So they're not going to get anywhere near the amount of money that Rangel thinks they're going to get, which means we'll get a big expansion of government, a crippling expansion of the tax burden, but perversely, that crippling increase in the tax burden isn't going to give the politicians much money to spend when the dust settles. You got it. Dan Mitchell, Cato Institute. Thanks very much, Dan. Thank you.